Hey everyone, it's Ashley, your Independent Sensi Consultant. Welcome back to my channel. I have January, February. I have February's with Fox here with me. Guess what month is it? Um, I have February's with Fox here with me. I am always, not that I'm one of the last people to get my with Fox, but I don't live anywhere close to a distribution center. All my stuff ships from Idaho and I'm in South Dakota, so it takes a good five days to get to me, um, like business shipping days. And I didn't even place this order on the first because I was trying to kind of finalize what I was gonna get and all of that. So it's still exciting. Um, but yes, I looked up spoilers, let's just say that. So this is a big box this month. And also, if you wanna be surprised, obviously you probably should stop watching the spoiler, but this is a perfect Sensi starter kit box. The value of this box is so much more than it's listed at this month. So the Whiff box is normally $30. Um, the value is, one of the products alone is $25 in here and you get extras, like that's insane. So it's the perfect starter kit in my opinion, for Scentsy. Um, If you've never tried it or you wanna get into it, this month's box is gonna start you out with everything you need, which you'll see here in a minute. But that's obviously very exciting. Um, also, if you add this to your Scentsy Club, if you just literally go on Scentsy Club and make an order for today and cancel your club, you get 10% off of it right off the top. If you already have a Scentsy Club that's processing and you know you have a half price item, you probably already know that you could get this for half price, making it only $15. <laughs> Mind blown. So this is essentially a Scentsy starter kit, in my opinion. I've never seen this one of these products in the Whiff box before, which by this point you guys all probably know, so I'll just get cut to the chase. Um, there's a mini warmer in here. So depending what region you're in, I believe is what triggered what mini warmer you get. So um, we are in region one, so we get the tie-dye right here. I do believe this was the UK, like Europe. And then that leads me to believe this was maybe Australia. But you guys, this mini warmer is so cute. I love this. I want one of these. <laughs> I don't think this is available in the US, but I want one of those. It's so pretty looking. Um, I'm gonna like really do some research there. Oh yeah, here you go. Look at this. US, Europe, that whole jazz, Australia, New Zealand. Is this region three? I'm pretty sure. Um, they got the pretty one. <laughs> not that the tie-dye is not pretty. And I know some of my customers really were into the tie-dye, but I really like that one. So we got the tie-dye. That's the one I'm going to share with you today. So mini warmers are $25. This box is 30. It's already such a great deal. So let's get into it. Um, to start off, I do want to say though, there is a catalog in here. So maybe if you had not gotten a full catalog and you were interested in one, um, there is one in here. Obviously, if you don't want to buy the Whiffbox to, to get a catalog, contact your consultant, contact me. We all have access to get catalogs. Um, they can likely send one to you. So just drop that to your consultant. You don't have to buy the Whiffbox just to get a catalog. There's also a digital version on the website. If you go to the main page and just scroll all the way down, it says view digital catalog and you can see everything that's in here, but on your phone, online, etc. Okay, let's get into the exciting part which is the warmer. <laughs> so I know some of my customers were like, the tie-dye warmer, oh my gosh, I want it. And then it ended up being in this month's Whiff box, which is so funny. So I do like, they've started doing this on their newer mini warmers. It tells you what kind of base or what kind of warmer you have. So if it's ceramic or glass, you can tell by the bottom whether it looks like it's gonna screw in or be ceramic. So I don't know if you can tell, but these don't really have a base compared to this one. It screws in because it's got this bigger base. This is glass. Usually if it has holes, it's ceramic. Um, sometimes they just have different bases though. So they have a little chart that tells you. So if you get a little stand, a tabletop stand, which is super helpful, um, it helps to know which one to buy because if you have a ceramic warmer but you buy a glass warmer stand, that's not gonna work out so hot. So yes, or if you need like a replacement plug-in, 
obviously you'll want to know which to buy. So here we go. I have not seen this in person. Okay, so it is in fact tie-dye. This literally reminds me of like in middle school, we used to make tie-dye shirts for like not craft day, but like, you know, when they let you kind of have like a free day. I don't know. We used to do that a lot. Or at like camps and stuff, we would make tie-dye shirts. I just remember having so many tie-dye shirts. Um, all different colors, not specifically just blue. But this is ceramic, as you can see on the bottom here. So it is blue tie-dye. The dish is 100% blue and it is glazed in the dish, which makes the wax not stain in the dish. You might get a little bit of residue, but if you get it more so on the sides where it's not 100% glazed, you may get actually a little bit more staining and it'll be harder to get off. That's why the inside of the dish is glazed. So this would maybe whole, I mean, I always put one cube of wax in my mini warmers. I could see this one maybe holding two. It just makes me a little bit leery being that full if it bumps just a little bit. If I had it on a tabletop base, it may be different, but if I had this plugged into the wall, I'm likely only putting in one cube of wax. So the sides aren't totally glazed here. Where the little tie-dye circles are, those are a little bit more glazed, but where it's white, it's pretty ceramic. So you want to be careful that wax doesn't get on there, otherwise it may stain a little bit. So here's what this looks like if you've never had a mini warmer. Maybe you're using this as your Stinsy starter kit. You have this plug right here, which does rotate if you need it to. You just push down this button and then it turns and it clicks, I do believe. It didn't click. Oh my gosh, it's getting kind of hard. Yeah, generally it clicks. Um, so that clicks into place and then you can move it around so you have maybe a sideways wall outlet. They usually come with this little washer. I don't know if that's the specific term for that, but it's this extra silicone piece that you can put around the base here, which will help if it's a little bit wobbly, you can put that in. It'll help secure it a little more. And then you do have your light bulb. So you literally just screw that right into here. And then you take your base or your actual warmer and your base and you line up these two notches with the two notches on here, like so. And then you just give it a half turn. So you don't want to turn it all the way, 180, because then obviously it'll fall out again. <laughs> you want to just give it a 90 degree turn and then it will stay in your outlet like this then on off. It has holes all the way around so there's not really like a front or a back. You can kind of play with it however you want it to be. So yeah, that's essentially how our mini warmers work. They're a great starter option if you're a little bit, um, you know, unsure of maybe how strong you want your scent to be or, you know, maybe they make great gifts. I love gifting mini warmers just because I feel like they're they're not bulky. You can kind of put them anywhere. Um, you know, maybe if you have pets though, or young kids or young, like curious fingers, I maybe wouldn't put them in a low wall outlet. That seems like a potential recipe for disaster. So that is $25. The catalog is technically a dollar. That's the value of it. Um, so we're already at $26 and the box is 30. Then we have in a new set, I hate when the circle's up high. We have a scent circle. It's really wedged in there. I don't know why I'm like this, but I literally want all my scent circles to be at the bottom of the packaging. But it's Clementine Cupcake. This is kind of funny to me because this seems like maybe not the scent I would want in my car. Like if you want your car to be fresh and this is kind of bakery, I just think that's kind of funny. So if you're a little bit like, I don't know if I should put this in my car. I'm not really a bakery person. I want my car to be more fresh. You can hang this anywhere. You could hang this at your work desk if you just want to freshen up your space a little bit. Like you can really do anything with this. You can hang it in your closet. Maybe you don't want your closet to be bakery per se, um, but you don't necessarily have to hang this in your car. You can really hang it anywhere. Um, just as long as it's free flowing and this scent circle that is filled with scent oils isn't like directly touching something and it can breathe freely, hang freely, you should be okay. So we also have some samples of washer with in Cloudberry Dreams. So this is raspberry, rose, peach, and vanilla scented. I do find Cloudberry Dreams in the wax has a little bit too much rose for me. However, 
in the washer whiffs. I really do enjoy it. So it's two packets of washer whiffs. It says to, it just says pour right in the drum of your washing machine. I didn't know if they were going to give you like a suggestion of how much you, like how big of a load it should be. These whiffs should be enough for a large load. It feels like a decent amount in these two packages. I mean, heck, if you were doing like an extra large load and you were getting really wild with it, you could pour both of these in here. But Cadbury Dreams is pretty strong, so you should be okay with a large load with one of these packets. So you get two there. Cadbury Dreams is really good for laundry. I much prefer it in laundry than wax. I'll just say that much. And then on top of it, we got two wax bars. So these are both $6 a piece. So what is the math there? I'm not, I'm not very good at math. <laughs> if Corey was in here, he would just be rattling off numbers. But we have 12... 15 plus 25 is 40 plus the catalog plus the samples if i did that right <laughs> okay let's talk about these bars first we have shoreline drive which is a new release scent oh my gosh i'm so sorry i didn't realize my shirt was so dirty <laughs> this is a new release scent for the spring and summer and honestly, this isn't my favorite. This isn't my favorite one. It kind of reminds me of Sandswept, which I feel like everyone on YouTube is likely saying. It really does. It doesn't, it has a little bit of a different twist to me. Let's read the notes. I honestly probably have a bar of Sandswept, which I should compare it to. I may do that. I know a ton of people have probably talked about that, honestly. Sand swept is where? Oh, sand swept is in the citrus category. I figured it would be fresh. Okay, let's compare the notes. Shoreline Drive, which is fresh, which I would think they would both be fresh, is dewy greens, passion flower, and sea mist which I agree. I wouldn't even, mm, no, dewy greens, yeah, I think so. It didn't say anything about rocks, but I think just maybe the mist, sea mist, ocean type water scent in sand swept makes me associate that with rocks. Sand swept is ocean water, sandstone, driftwood, and pink lemon. I don't get any kind of pink lemon in, in sand swept. I think it's literally like water on rocks. I will say I really enjoyed the room spray, like a lot more than the actual wax. Yeah, this might not have that rock scent. Like it reminds me of that. And I think maybe it's the sea mist. <laughs> that term cracks me up every time. That might be reminding me of sand swept with the, I feel like sand swept really does have like a raw, wet rocky type note, which some people went crazy about. They totally loved it. This one maybe does seem a little bit more fresh now that I'm continuing to smell it. I think honestly, if from my memory, I had to pick between the two, I would probably pick this one over sand swept. This one doesn't give me as wet of rock vibes, but I do have a bar of sand swept, which I will be smelling because it's not that I'd be like, because I want to smell it and warm it, but just because I want to compare the two, <laughs> I was not a fan of it, but I did like in the room spray. So that should be available again in the room spray. If you have a choice between the bar and the room spray, I choose the room spray. <laughs> and then this is the current scent of the month. It's Sunburst Bamboo, which I love, you guys. My flyer's all the way on the ground. Honestly, every time I smell it, I like it more and more. I need to warm a bar, but I'm so obsessed with it. Okay. Let me, let me quickly go get this off my floor over here because I need to, I need to read the notes. I need to read the notes for you. Okay. Let's get to it. Okay. This is the scent of the month flyer, which has like the note breakdown. So if you didn't get this from your consultant, I'm going to, I'm going to read it for you. So the top like main description of this is sunburst, bamboo, cucumber, and peony. However, 
that would maybe think you I feel like when they leave the last note you hear is kind of what you think of sometimes and I feel like this isn't floral like it says peony no okay top notes are sunburst bamboo cucumber lemon peel and Sicilian bergamot yes 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 and it smells so good I totally get those and the cucumber and the lemon peel like it's not citrus lemon it's like cucumber and lemon water type like it's a lighter version if that makes sense that's really what it reminds me of though the mid notes are jasmine lily of the valley juicy melon and peony which mostly are florals and i don't really get that and also the base notes though are vanilla pods musk and blonde woods it's really just giving me like cucumber water like you put cucumbers in your water to make it you know what i'm saying right like, you know, you're trying to have like a fruity <laughs> water, get yourself to drink more water or like those water bottles, like infusing. That's the word I'm looking for. Like you use the little stick thing that goes into your water to like infuse the fruit to give it that taste. That's the word I was looking for. That's kind of what it reminds me of, but like better. I don't know. It's so good. It's so fresh and I really like it. So I warmed it for samples but I need to like warm it throughout my house because I every time I smell it I'm just obsessed with it um I will say I do not believe and I don't believe anyone else talked about this there was no sample cup for next month's scent of the month I know even for like February scent of the month they had some issues getting the product you know on a timely manner so I think that led to the issue with the sample cups but it is definitely something I look forward to in these whiff boxes and this is two months in a row we haven't had it which is such a bummer but I totally understand the delays and everything are crazy so hopefully March end of the month kits will be on time um it is always nice to get that sample cup though just in advance just to know if you're gonna like it or not um I find that the months they don't send sam sample cups I feel like I like the fragrance more and I don't know if that's just a fluke, but I know like Arctic Kiss never had a sample cup included and I loved Arctic Kiss. Um, I'm trying to think of some other ones, but, and like this one didn't, for example, and definitely Arctic Kiss. I know those two for sure. So it's kind of funny how that works, but that is everything for this month's whiff box. Thank you so much for watching. I know after you like see a couple spoilers of these, I feel like there's so many people who share this on YouTube. I feel like it can start to be like, okay, everybody's sharing the whiff box. But sometimes I feel like depending when you order, you get different things. So I do like to watch these still and to see people's reactions. Like if they really haven't seen spoilers, I'm just not that disciplined. <laughs> so if you have never tried Sensi and you want to have this opportunity to have like a starter kit, I think this is a great opportunity, um, especially for the price. Also, like I said, if you add it in the Sensi Club, you automatically get 10% off, no matter if you don't order anything else because it is over that $30 threshold. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to help, I'm happy to share, but let me know what you thought of this month's whiff box. Let me know if you think Shoreline Drive is exactly the same as Sand Swept and what you think of Sunburst Bamboo, the scent of the month for February. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.